Thanks, uh, everyone, for joining us for another night, once again, a night of prayer with HIZ Ministries. We uh, sure appreciate you guys for joining us tonight. So let's get started. Uh, but uh, Heavenly Father, uh, as we start, Father God, we're going to ask you, Father God, before we ask you for anything, we would like to first thank you for everything. We'd like to thank you for waking us up this morning, clothing us in our right minds, putting food on our tables and, and monies in our account, Father God. We know you didn't have to do it, but you did it anyway. We thank you for giving us traveling grace for all those who travel, Father God, keeping all vehicles on their sides of the road, protecting us and guiding us, watching over us all night long as we slept and slumbered, as you sat high and looked low, watching over us, having angels camped around us, Father God. We just thank you for being such a graceful and a merciful and, and gracious God. Father God, we couldn't ask for any other God. Father God, Father God, we just we just need you right now, Father God. And 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 and, and the times that we're in right now, we're seeing it more and more that we need you even more, Father God. And 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 and, and we we ask them, Father God, that you would come sit with us, Father God. Father God, that you will be in our homes, Father God, be with us on our jobs, Father God, that you would be with us uh, at, at our schools, Father God, as, as we continually having incidents and fatalities and, and shooting and violence, Father God, and, and, and as we go through these things, Father God, we have no other way, no, nowhere else to turn but to you, Father God. It's very humbling, Father God, and, and that's what we need. We need to humble ourselves, Father God. Empty ourselves so you can fill us, Father God. First of all, Father God, we, 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 we need to understand that it's us, Father God, and not you. You know, we need to understand that we are falling short, that we need to step up. It, it, it's something that not what you need to do, but what we need to do. And we just asking you, Father God, to continually send those to teach us and, 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 and to preach to us and to, to, to counsel us and, and, and to do whatever it takes for us to, to get it. Because we, we, we just don't get it. But we know that you have the answers. You say in your word that all knowledge comes from above. So we asking you, Father, to continually send down that knowledge, Father God, and, 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 and that we might hide a word in our hearts that we might not sin against you. And because we know all it all stems from sin. We know that's the root. That's the root of the problem. So we want to humble ourselves tonight, Father God, and receive whatever it is that you have for us, Father God. We asking Father God and we praying Father God that you that you go into our classrooms and sit with our principals and our teachers and our staff members. Counsel them, Father God. Give them counsel, Father God. And we ask them that they will hear that, Father God, that you will soften their hearts so they will receive this word, Father God, so that there may be progress in our schools because there's no progress being made. Sin is just running rampant because no one wants to adhere to what's going on. Whether they're either afraid and whether they're afraid, we ask them that you That you, that you touch them, Father God, that they'll be fearless. And whether they're naive and that you will teach them and then they'll be willing to learn. We need you today more than we need you at any other time, Father God. We need you. We need you in our hospitals, where sickness and disease, and I know it's saying your word, Father God, not all disease and sickness is to death. It too is running rampant. It's running rampant all over 
I'm talking about not just here in the United States, everywhere, Father God. And we know, we know healing. You say by your stripes that we are healed. So I know there's healing in your word. Send your word, Father. We ready to receive your word, Father. Send it so we can have healing, Father God. Oh, Father God, we ask that you to touch all those that are in so-called power that's making decisions and government from the councilman to the president, from the, from the outhouse to the White House. We ask you to show up and show out, Father God. Show your mighty power right now. We know you omnipresent, omnipotent. We know it, Father God. We just asking you right now, Father God. You say in your word, we have not because we ask not. And you so say the prayers of the righteous avail it much. We stand in you before you in need, at a time of need, Father God. We, we truly don't have a handle on this thing. So we asking you. We humbling ourselves right now, asking you for instruction, for guidance, and for continue to, to love and give us grace and have mercy on us, Father God. Because we messing this thing up. We are totally messing it up. We're messing up our kids. We're messing up our household. We're messing things up on our jobs. We are completely out of control. But we're willing to humble ourselves and listen to what it is you have to say. Speak to us, God. Speak to us even right now. Speak to our hearts and our minds. As we sit still, open our hearts and our minds ready to receive whatever it is you have to say. We don't have the answer. Matter of fact, we are far from it. No matter how much knowledge and, and, and technology and, and things that we acquire, it only looks that we are going backwards. It seems that with the more things of this world we get, the further away we get from you. The further away we get from godly instructions, the more, the more, the more stuff we have. It's just like it, 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 it's a buffer between us. It, 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 it's a barricade. It, it's blockage. It's baggage. Stuff that we don't need. We're not ready to handle it. So do whatever it is that you need to do to help us. Because we are now asking for your help. We're asking you to touch these, these, these parents and the, these kids that have been, been in these recent shootings, whether it's mass shootings or, 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 or whatever, these incidents at school and fights breaking out and, 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 and teenagers running around loose with, with, with guns that they don't know how to use and, 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 and don't even know why they're using it. And, and, and we just need you to touch them right now. I ask in your son Jesus' name. Touch them right now. Flip their worlds upside down for the God. Because truly, they don't know any direction anyway. We ask you to touch their parents, that they stand up and be men and women of their household. To don't, not to be afraid to give their kids the right instruction which is instructions from you to stand on your word. To tell them what thus says the Lord. Not give them them. What I used to do when I was in the street and then all this, not to give them that, but to use that as, as an example of a testimony on what not to do, where they went wrong. And therefore pointing them toward you where the help come from? 
where my help come from? Where our help come from? Where the hell, where the world help come from? We asking you to touch right now, Father. We asking for a touch. We need a mighty touch from you right now. We, we, we can't even afford to wait any longer. I know your time is not our time. But this is how serious and how desperate we are right now. We need your help. We're not gonna be even, we're not gonna even be able to make it. Not yet another day if you don't answer, if you don't show up, if you don't show out. I know you can do it. And I know you want to do it. And I know you will do it. And I'm gonna thank you right now for it. I'm gonna praise you right now for. Whatever it is that you decide to do, I'm going to praise you right now. I'm going to go and do a Holy Ghost praise right now for deliverance of these kids, of these parents, these households, and the hospitals uh, overseas. I'm asking you, God, right now to show up and show out in our world because we truly need you. It's come to that right now. It's come to that right now. Everybody want to stand up in church. Nobody want to bow down, kneel. You know, it's all about us. But we know, we see now that we have no control. None. We have no control whatsoever. We don't have control over our kids. We don't have control over our our uh, our our uh, 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 grandkids. We don't have control. We don't have control over ourselves. But we asking you to take control right now, Father God. Speak to us right now. Speak to our hearts right now. We got kids running around here right now. They don't, they don't know what they're doing. They don't know what they're going. They, they, they have no clue. The parents don't have any clue. You turn on the television, all you hear is disasters and and wars and and, and rumors of wars and, and and threats and violence and disarray, chaos. We need you, Father. We need you bad. So I'm asking you to just calm us all down and speak to us separately, collectively, corporately, but speak to us. We need to hear words from you. We don't need to hear from the president the vice president, uh, the cabinet members, because they don't know what they're doing. They're out of control. Matter of fact, we need you to speak to them. To, we need this for you to speak to them more than you need to speak to some of the others. But I'm going to let you be the judge of that. You know more than I know about who needs to be spoken to and in what order, or even at the same time, because you're that powerful. You're that mighty but we do need you to speak. We need you to speak because we are in total chaos right now. Even the church is in chaos. You got everything being accepted. Women can marry women. Men can marry men. Bishops marrying each other in the church house. No respect. Everybody okay with it. Oh, it's the sign of the times. No, we're not all okay with it. Love them, yes. Accept it, no. We don't accept it. And we know you don't accept it. 
we in agreement with you right now, with your word. And we know it's going to be fulfilled. It's already being fulfilled. But we're just asking you for help. We calling on you for help right now. Because without it, we can't sustain. We can't move on. We can't move up. We can't get up. We can't stand up. We can't do anything without you. So we hear it open ears, open hearts, standing before you as empty vessels, ready to be filled with whatever it is we need to do, we're ready to do it. So speak to us. Speak to us, God, right now. We need to hear from you. The kids need to hear from you. The parents need to hear from you. Teachers. Government. Kids. Everyone. We need a word from you. That's the only thing that's going to get us through this. Your word is the only thing that's going to get us through. Kids are taking their lives because they have nowhere to go. And if they're going somewhere, where they're going, they're not getting what they need to sustain them, to fill them. They're not getting what they're looking for. They don't even know what it is they're looking for. And it's you. So we ask you right now to give them you. Give them you, God. However you need to do it, give them you. I can understand why they would be confused. I'm confused. I'm looking at this stuff that's going on. And, 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 and every time you turn around, you it's getting more and more gross, more and more pathetic as some of the stuff so-called Christians are doing in this world. Leaders of the church misleading the church. We know what it said was going to happen in your word. We know this. We know it. But yet, some of us still can't handle it. We need you to intervene. We need you to intervene. Prop all those that are leaning. Prop them up. All those that are weak, strengthen them. All those that are confused, stabilize their minds. All those that are empty, we're asking you to fill them. Fill them with your word. All those with hate, show them your love. We already know all those that are out of it have gotten a dose of reality. Things just don't happen everywhere else. It's starting to hit home. But it's always been hitting home. We just never realized it. If, it, if it's hitting somewhere, it's hitting someone's home. So it's always been hitting home. It might not have been your home, but how long you think it was going to happen before it would hit your home? Sickness has always been hitting someone else's home. Death has always been in someone else's home. So it had always been hitting home. It just wasn't your home. Now it's hitting your home. But 
but God, we know you the answer. And it doesn't matter what the question is. We have a lot of questions, but what we need to know is that you are the answer to all of our questions. That's what's important. It's easy to make up questions. But accepting the answer to that question, being able to receive the answer and take heed to the answer to that question. And a lot of times we don't ask the question, certain questions, because we don't be wanting certain answers. Well, now we don't have a choice. Because the questions are still out there. And we just, we just thank you, God, that you are the answer. So we're asking you now to come in to our homes, to our schools, to our hospitals, to our situations, to our hearts, to our minds, and answer the questions. In other words, we asking you to come in and be God in our lives. We're at that point where we humbling ourselves and are ready to be filled. And I thank you in advance for your word. But you sent your son, and you didn't have to do it, but you did it anyway. You sent your son, Jesus Christ, to die because we were messing up. He did that. And yet we're still messing up. So have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. And I thank you in advance for being God and being God all by yourself. Being here before as Alpha and you'll be here after as Omega. The beginning and the end. We know it started with you. And we know it's going to end with you. Which means you have all the answers. And as you see, we have all the questions. So answers are our questions on tonight. Do it in our hearts, our minds, and our souls. As we step up and humble ourselves and be ready to do our part. I thank you for your time. And I bless you in your son Jesus' name. Amen.